Hello everybody and welcome to episode 9 of Meter CC. Today we are very honoured to welcome Krieger and his beanie goodness. How are you doing sir and welcome to the channel. Not too shabby, uh, just uh, finishing that first cup of coffee this morning. Excellent, excellent. There is a bit of a time. There's a bit of a time difference between us. Only a few. Just like, just, uh, just, a, just a few hours. I'm getting ready to it's enjoy. Continent amongst friends. Indeed, indeed. Even if the continent's full of water, um, you know, just gotta go for a bath and a swim as you go across. So, um, Mr. Kriegoff, thank you for taking your time out to come and join us, sir. It is uh, wonderful of you to do so. Um, so. Yeah. We'll uh, let's kick off the questions. They're really easy. Um, even someone like me can ask them. So, uh, your in-game name. Um, where did it come from, and how long have you had it for? Oh Lord, so Krigor, uh, man, I sound old. Can be uh, twenty-four years old for the name creation. It actually, yeah. I was being very unoriginal back playing a game called uh, Rifts, a tabletop RPG. And it's just a modified spelling and pronunciation of an alien race out of there. Because I couldn't think of a cool name back when I was like 16, 17 uh, for a character I was making that was going to be this big burly warrior thing. I was like, I'll just call him this. And it was like, that's a genius. And then years later, it is just still stuck. <laughs> wow. twenty. That's the longest name I think we've... I think that's the longest I've had so far. So that's pretty really? impressive. Easy time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's impressive or sad. Like, wow, that long and he couldn't come up with something new. Yeesh. No, that's pretty... No, it's, <laughs> the thing is, though, your in-game tags, though, are all quite personal for, for many different reasons. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's something that you thought of way, way back. And it's you've stuck with it and it means something to you. It's who you are. It's who you're known as. You know? Yep. Mine was because I was watching a well-known cartoon. <laughs> there you go. Can't go so, wrong. Hey, can't go wrong with cartoons. I'm just saying. Hell yeah. So, uh, how long have you been playing World of Warships? Two and a half, almost three years now. Wow, that's good. I'm I just, got started yeah. playing Warships because I was trash talking Warships at a giant gaming convention, and a buddy of mine, well, at the time, a friend, not any longer, uh, blindsided me by introducing me to one of the community team. And getting me to say something stupid in front of them. Ooh. And they're like, well, if you haven't played it, you can't talk crap about it. So I went and tried it that night, came back the next day. I'm like, I hate you, but I've got an account now. And he just <laughs> laughed at me. And that was uh, Meathead Militia. Oh, good old Meathead. He's a great guy. Yep. And um, so outside of World of Warships, and you're into a lot of different games, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I mainly do, uh, I'd say more so the survival genre, so not like your, what is that, not Dead by Daylight or anything like that, I like the, the open world sandbox style survival game, so Empyrean Space Engineers, uh, Seven Days to Die, um, Last Oasis with some of the other Bob's folks, uh, yep. a couple of actually Bob guys are, uh, in the clan here with us, um, so those style of games, mainly because once I figure out the pattern for most NPCs in a game, which happens pretty fast for me, mm -hmm. it loses its challenge. So with survival games, there's always something new and dumb trying to kill me. So it keeps it interesting and keeps it flowing. Yeah. And, you know, when you scream like a girl and take off running from a giant zombie horde, that usually gets the chat laughing pretty hard at you. Pretty does. Pretty does indeed. Um. How would you best describe your content? What what sort of what what how would how do you how do you think what do you think about? Uh shenanigans, pure shenanigans. You know, <laughs> some people you know do content around education or you know they want to show off the new stuff. Some people like to do it because they just like to show off what they do. I just want to have fun when I'm playing it. I don't really care. You know, I'm one of those weird people, and I say one people or five people or you know fifty. I'm still going to be playing the game the same way I was anyway. Uh, yep. I, I really stick true to that statement with the stream. Good. Uh, you know, if people want to tune in and watch me play something new and have shenanigans, I welcome them to do so, but uh, it's all about the fun. I mean, we put up a fail meter on the stream, of all things, just to track all the times I die or a or science experiment in the game goes horribly wrong, yeah. uh, just so we can track it for the night. Um, and how, of, how often you know, is that You gotta have up? fun and embrace the dumb. How often is that filled up? Uh, it, we always put tick marks on it every night. Uh, last <laughs> night's no exception. There's a great clip. I'll have to send it to you when we're done with this. 
Um, there's a large creature in Last Oasis. Uh, everybody jokingly refers to him as Kevin. Uh, it's a massive uh, world boss for the hard map crab. And I'm watching one Kevin on a mountaintop, making sure I'm keeping a really big distance. And I'm just chatting away with chat. And I come around a corner, and there's Kevin 2.0 uh, staring me in the face. I didn't realize the second one had respawned after being killed earlier in the day. Uh, <laughs> and you see me yell, mistakes were made, and then take off running as fast as I can on my walker. Uh, unfortunately, the clip cuts off right before I do my really cool superhero leap, and I'm like, wait, he's chasing me, not my fancy ship. And I jumped off, and he smacks it right as I jump off, and you watch it flip over the top of me, like some kind of action movie with a big explosion behind your hero, except in my case, it's me screaming like a girl jumping off the toboggan to run through the woods <laughs> uh, and it getting flung through the trees over the top of me. So not nearly <laughs> as heroic as it could have been, but it was hilarious to watch. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I I like it. I do like watching this stuff. And obviously, we've played uh, Dungeons & Dragons, haven't we, with uh, Byron yeah. as well? Yep. Uh, we, we We're actually it. starting our new, uh, our second game. We're running due to a week now. Yeah. Uh, for that one. Starts, uh, well, today. Uh, I don't know when everybody's going to see it. Otherwise, it's on Sundays now at uh, 2 Pacific. So earlier mm -hmm. in the day, for folks who can't catch the later in the evening Friday ones, we're doing mm -hmm. a... A, set, a whole new campaign, whole new uh, set of characters we made specifically for it. We're going to be unveiling all of them tonight for folks. Oh, there we go. So that's on that's on uh, Barons, isn't it? On Swords and Bolts. Correct. Yep. Baron underscore Nuts and the letter N Bolts. Oh, uh, so which I mean, if you come over to my thing, he's usually hanging out in chat. You can always get a follow, or I always host over to it for folks. So. So um, yeah. So uh, what quote is under your school book picture? So your, the yearbook of your school, what quote is under your picture? How cringeworthy oh, is this? So back, oh man, so if you're going that far back. Okay, so I am way different than I was back then. So uh, probably back then, most likely to punch you in the face. <laughs> I, was, I was a lot angrier in my youth. The wife definitely calmed me down once we started dating. Uh, but I was very much the, the person... Where if you cause problems for friends of mine, I just took care of the problem. <laughs> you know, I, I was that guy, um, <sighs> unfortunately. So I got into a lot of trouble when I was younger, uh, uh, especially for fighting. Like that was, I, I did it at the drop of a hat way too often, I'd say. Looking yep. back on it now, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I was dumb. Uh, so that would probably would have been the one back then. Uh, now? Uh, now would be most likely to get himself killed by doing something stupid <laughs> uh, in a video game. That would that'd probably Can't definitely confirm. be the, the new uh, title for it. Can't confirm. Because I'm usually the one wanting to try all the crazy ideas. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, hang on. We haven't, played, we haven't played games together properly, yet, have we? <laughs> uh, just, uh, well, we did the ships division a couple times. Um, yeah, and normally... And, and then we felt horribly dirty afterwards because it felt like we were seal clubbing. But that in the, that in the fact that that in the fact that we were still trying to do something stupid and stupid seemed to work, so it wasn't yeah. stupid anymore. Exactly. When, when stupid works, it, it loses its some of its fun, its panache. Yeah. Unfortunately. Which is why you, which is why you and Grumbles together keep trying to get me to play Last Oasis. Which... Oh, oh man, the the dumb we do. What? Well, and honestly, I I'd encourage anybody if you want to give it a shot right now is a good time because you can't. Mm. It doesn't matter, especially if you're going to be playing with me and Grumbles and um, actually uh, Dino Dan. Uh, mm -hmm. They're both in uh, NA Bobs, um, which is how I actually ran into him as the Bobs tag on the stream. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's the Bobs, brother. I got to watch him. And then <laughs> we hit it off, found out we're on the same server and started running together. But in about two weeks when private servers come out, we're starting from scratch. Uh, we're going to move over to the roleplay server and just have even more shenanigans. Oh, dear. This could get crazy, though. We'll have to see how I feel. I might. I, I must admit, I am tempted, but I, I have. I, there is something else that I'm. I'm quite into at the minute, unfortunately, which is Forza Horizon Four. I'm afraid. I've. 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 Re, I've, revol, I've reverted back to my gearhead, and um, I'm, I'm doing a bit of Forza at the minute. But that's that's me privately away from everybody else, so nobody come and look for me on there. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people picking up the racing game stuff. I know here in the states, yeah. a, a big push for it is because. Uh, the Penny Arcade guys are doing it. Yeah. Uh, and they are they have a big influence on a lot of the gaming community here in the States. Mm -hmm. And the other, thing that's, the other thing that's driving it as well, I don't know if you've noticed, is on Facebook Live. 
um, a lot of the racing car drivers, obviously, you know, the current situation, everything's on lockdown. So there's no racing, there's no football, there's no rugby, American yeah. football. There's no um, rounders or baseball. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, I've never heard it called rounders before. But... Um, uh, but um, what I have seen is, for example, uh, the Aussie supercars, they've been doing all of those virtually uh, using iRacing. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen some of the McLaren F1 racers and the you know, the F1 race boys doing it virtually as well. So a lot of them are starting yeah, to actually come uh, over. NASCAR is looking into it now, which is yeah. that is not one I ever thought I'd hear trying to advance into the tech world. Sorry, any NASCAR fans out there, but just not something I expected. But I think, but it actually makes sense, and I actually quite like the idea of it because, I mean, you know, it keeps people, it keeps the sport alive, but yes. you know, with none of the danger. Yep. Um, well, and it keeps the fans yeah. interested. Yeah. You know, so they they get that fix. They get that. You know, it's like the yeah. off season fix for them, so that when it comes back, everybody still has that energy and that passion for it. And it's a whole different look as well that they can get of the teams because. I'm brutal honesty. NASCAR to me is turn left and keep your foot down. The end. I'm, I'm, that, that's NASCAR to me. I know a lot of people will be saying, oh, it's so much more technical. They occasionally turn right and all this kind of stuff. I'm really sorry, but NASCAR for me starts and stops with the oval. Um, I, you know, I'm, I, I think while it's not interesting, it's also interesting at the same time as the fact that They've got so much management in the head. I kind of go quite analytical and geeky, boring on NASCAR then, um, which is quite bizarre because you wouldn't expect someone from the UK to actually be into NASCAR that much. We're British touring cars. We're small, light, and nimble, not huge, big engines going 200 miles an hour. And that's my end, don't worry. Um, hey, I'm not into the racing stuff at all. To me, it's all he's making a left turn, he's making a left turn, or I think they're coming down a mountain trail. Oop, I saw him for 30 seconds. Cool. Let's wait 10 minutes to watch another car go down that same turn. So I've I've yeah. never got into racing, but I get it. You know, there's a lot. I love esports stuff. I'm a huge mm. uh, League of Legends uh, fan, even though I don't play anymore. Uh, most wow. people don't get it. Like I, I don't understand what I'm watching. I'm like, eh, he'd probably be boring to you then. So I I get some people just have that niche they like. I didn't actually realize I got you that one, League. which is weird to folks. I didn't actually realize you like League. Oh yeah, uh, I used wow. to main support. Uh, secondary was uh, top lane. Wow. I am a huge Liquid fan for NA and for EU. Uh, Fnatic since the, uh, I first started. I got to meet uh, Fnatic back when Xpeke and Yellowstar uh, and all of them were still together. Um, wow. That's old school. Yeah. I was this close. Had I just stepped up, I actually would have gotten to play against them uh, at an event. Uh, but I was like, there we're saying to the crowd, hey guys, we're gonna be pulling people up shortly. We're gonna fill out a team here. He's gonna play against Fnatic, and I'm there with my five year old, who's still younger, at a, a big Penny Arcade Expo. It was Pax Prime back then. Now it's West Bastards changed the name. Um, I was like, oh, that's gonna fill up so quickly. So we walked. We're looking at a couple of those plays. Came back about 20 minutes later. And like, guys, we just need one more. Does nobody out there want to play support? And I'm like, I can do it. I can kind of do it. And I'm looking at him like, does he want to stand there? And then when somebody else raised their hand, he goes, you should do it. I'm like, okay. Oh, crap. And they just put <laughs> the spot. <laughs> I was like, damn it. Because so I would have gotten the lane against uh, Fnatic and them, which would have been, wow, the holy crap, amazing. Yeah. I can imprint you on that. Um, what's your favorite band or song? Uh, so, right. So, song-wise, I've got two i've been listening to a lot lately i mean overall if i had to go overall band it would be corn yeah uh falling away from me uh more recently the two that i just can't get enough listening to uh is nero forte off of slipknot's new album is amazingly well done and then the other one is a cover actually uh marilyn manson did a cover of uh johnny cash's uh god's gonna burn you down i think it's the name of it yeah if you haven't heard it his playing of the steel guitar is i i didn't know he could do it it is it's beautiful i think it's better than the original i think it's just as good as when cash covered uh hurt i'll i'll throw it that high up of uh, praise so well, those those would be my two current songs that i can't get enough of but overall favorite is still corn is number one band nice um 
and Falling Away From Me is definitely my number one song from him. Nice. And what's your worst dad joke? That's <laughs> uh, that's reasonably safe. God, it was one the wife told me like two weeks ago, and it hurt so bad. I thought she gave me actually a uh, um, uh, heart palpitation off of it. Like it, it just hurt that bad to hear her actually say it. It was a uh, what was the wording? Oh, uh, what is the uh, best kind of joke uh, during the quarantine? Go on. It's an inside joke. Oh. Wow. See, I told you. Wow. All the way across the pond, and I'm pretty sure I just you, you might want to schedule something with your cardiologist after that one. That one that one hurt that bad, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. When she said that one to me, I just looked at her and she just la started laughing like she thought it was the funniest thing ever. I'm like, I can't believe you just said that one. That was that was a horrible. Oh uh, it was so bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Which just made it funnier to her at that point, because she could see the physical pain that one caused. <laughs> Right. <laughs> She's the one that comes up with all the bad dad jokes. I'm more of the straight man in the house. <laughs> oh dear. So, where can people find your content at? Where where else can we find Krieg art besides Twitch? Uh really Twitch is it. We used to upload some of our interview stuff uh onto the um shooting the ships yeah. uh board, but we haven't done one in so long. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but just some of the stuff that's been getting put out, because uh, I, I just don't agree with some of the decisions. I don't feel right trying to promote some of the decisions they've been making mm -hmm. on the other game there. Uh, so we haven't done a shoot in the ship for a while. So honestly, Twitch would be the, the main place to find it. Uh, you know, I'm on Twitter, you know, announcing stuff, what's coming up, or you can catch me if I'm going to be uh, guesting on another appearance. Uh, yep. Like, you know, once you got the link up for this one, I'll have to get it from you so I can throw it out there for folks. Yep. Uh, but that's just the underscore Kriegor on Twitter. Uh, or just hanging out in the Discord, chatting with folks, or appearing on other folks' streams is that disembodied voice in the background. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much for taking the time out today to, in your own words, shoot the ship. Yeah, um. you, sometimes you just got to sit back with good friends and shoot the ship. Indeed you do. Thank you very, very much for taking the time out, mate. I appreciate it. I know it's early. Uh, enjoy your coffee yeah. and cookies. <laughs> I wish I had cookies, but I've been really good about not eating as many sweets. I've managed to drop a little over 50 pounds so far, and i got some more to go. I'm working on it. That's part of getting that stomach back in order. We can never do the jelly beans again, guys. I'm sorry for all my, uh, my Bean Boozle fans out there, but for the doctor, with how bad those ulcers got, making my stomach convulse like that is just going to put them right back in place. Uh, well, we love you all the same, man. Thank you very much. So oh, it's, my pleasure. It's good to and long live the bobs. Indeed, thank you, dude. Thank you very, very much. Well, guys, um, this is episode ten of Meet a CC. We've met Kriegel. Thank you for taking the time out to meet us, dude. It's been awesome. Um, we'll see you all in the next episode. So, thank you from me. Yep. Thanks for doing, guys. Hit that subscribe button for him. He deserves it. <laughs> And Krigo's details will be in the description below, guys. Thank you all so much, and have a great time. Ta-da now. <laughs>